Vega. I think some of you can remember Carsten's beautiful tank from about a year ago. On this channel I would like to show in addition to some other topics from the saltwater aquaristic a kind of progression plan of various aquariums and as they develop. And this is how Carsten's tank looks like today. For me it is always exciting when I revisit people whose aquariums I have filmed before. Carsten has an impressive SPS stock here. Since SPS corals grow fast you can see most of the development here. A SPS coral can normally grow about 1 to 3 centimeters per month in an aquarium. Of course the water values, current and light must be ideal for the growth. Interestingly, corals in our oceans often grow in a different pace. There are some Acropora species that can grow about 70 to 20 centimeters per year. But others grow significantly slower than in an aquarium, where you can regulate the nutrient supply as needed. What is your experience with coral growth? Which species grow the fastest and which method do you think contributes to a better growth effect? If you compare the photos of Carson's tank with those from a year ago, you can clearly see some differences, especially in the upper area of the reef. When corals grow, they form white growth spikes at the end. The corals live together with certain kinds of algae. These algae provide the color of the coral. However, if the coral tissue grows faster than the algae, those colorless zones can form. It always takes a while for the grown ends of the coral to be occupied by the algae. And these white tips develop everywhere.
If you want to know a bit more about Carsten's aquarium, you will find the link to the last video in the video description. But in September there will be an extremely detailed video together with Carsten on the German channel with English subtitles. I'm very much looking forward to it and hope you have a nice week. Until next time at Sea Friendly Reef.